and welcome back to the Peacock Effect. I am your host Nicola and welcome for, to join us on Halloween. Such a pleasure to be here with you today. So sorry about that, I had to have a bit of fun. But at last, a couple of videos ago I talked about making your summer dress into an autumn winter look. So today I've done that. So I've added a winter boot. I've gone for a high one because I do like a heel and the biker jacket. So underneath the biker jacket, I've layered it up with a polar neck and put a different belt on. So it does give it a completely kind of different feel. So that's a top tip from the peacock. But this video, as promised, is all about winter coats and jackets. So my first jacket is all about comfort. So we are just loving the little teddy bear. These, these jackets are awesome. They're so warm. They're perfect for a crisp winter day in the snow. You just feel absolutely wonderful and warm. This colour is a great colour because it's quite neutral. So you can mix and match things up with it to get a different feel. So black boots, black hat, black gloves, black jumper, or completely go the other way and they're purple or even pink if you're confident enough. Talking about confidence, <clears throat> be really brave. Another teddy bear coat, jacket, sorry. And this one's got a lovely stripe of colour. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But it's just, you know, it's got the pinks, the blues, the purple, the orange, and the, it's almost like electric blue black. So you, you can wear every single colour with that and get away with it and just stand out in a crowd. But these lovely jackets are absolutely useless in the rain. So if you're gonna go out and it's raining, avoid those at all costs. Go with, now you've probably seen me wear this one before. This is at my, one of my most favorite brands, Holland and Cooper. And this is a fantastic jacket. It's quite light and it's got the lovely hood on it, which is awesome, but it's quite heavy. So sometimes I just take the hood off and then it's much lighter and a little bit more, you know, if you're gonna go out and about and you're hot and bothered, you can just take, take that and leave it in the car. So that's, that's a really expensive, but lovely jacket to own. Um, another little thought here is, I'm sure you all feel this ladies, is when you go shopping, you're in a shop and it's a million degrees and you've got shopping bags, you've got your winter coat or jacket on and you're like, oh, where do I put everything? I just want to be a bit cooler. So I always really think about what I'm going to wear before I go shopping, where I'm going to be indoors and outdoors all day. So I go, I, I love super dry. So I go for the nice warm colours, pinks, baby blues, so you still stand out in the crowd, but they're light and you can pop those in a bag and they're not too heavy to carry around. Or you can just tie them around your waist when you're in the store. So that's a really, really lovely little thing to have. And it's waterproof. And there's a hood in the back of the jacket so you don't have to take a brolly with you. So moving on from that one, I go for the micro jacket, which is lovely. And uh, this one you can really scooch up and it's literally, it turns into nothing when it's, it's folded up. It's as light as a feather. You're not gonna look amazing in this, but it's lovely. It has got the hood and it's perfect. And, and it has got two layers of color. So it has got a little bit of interest to it, but it's not a statement piece, but perfect for the day shopping. Now, if you're going to be out and about and it's really, really cold, then you need to go for the coat. So I would recommend something like this. So this is a lot longer and it has got a little bit of fur, a little bit of, of class added to it. So you can pop your hood up so you're dry, but you still look classy. This is great for cities too. It's not too heavy, but it will keep you dry and it will keep you covered. But if, like most of us mummies out there, you're on the side of a, a football pitch, a rugby pitch, a hockey pitch, it's freezing cold, then you need to go for the full 
heavy, what I call the sleeping bag, which is so warm. It's got this huge collar on it and it, it covers your legs to your boots. Another top tip, which I'm going to cover later in a couple of videos time, is about the boots for winter. So never, ever, ever wear Wellington boots because they're freezing unless they're lined or covered inside. So keep your body warm, keep your head warm and keep your feet warm if you're going to be outside standing around for long periods of time. Don't go for the, the, the superficial flimsy jackets because they won't keep you warm. And then the evening, so you're going out, you may have to park the car, walk for 10-15 minutes, but you still want to look great. So adding a little bit more of lushness to your outfit, you know, the fur is always a great thing because it always makes everything look a little bit more grander. You can put a belt around that. So that's nice with jeans and boots. Simple, with a little bronzed collar, which I really, really like, and it's comfortable. But you can pack that next to your chair and it doesn't take up a lot of room. Now, if you want to go a little bit above and beyond, I've, I've had this coat 20 years and a family member of mine said I look like, I can't remember his name, that EastEnder, uh, Rodney, or not Rodney, what's the other one? Anyway, it will come to me. But I love this and I think over white jeans, the white jumper, braised boots, it would just look so lovely and comfortable. But again, it is quite heavy and you will need to get it hung up. But these are my top tips for winter coats. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's Del Boy. Just came to me, it's a Del Boy jacket. But listen guys, thank you so much. Lots of love with Peacock.